Hello peeps, this is Latrell, your trader is chick, where we trade indicator free other than the 21 EMA. TGIF peep nation, we made another week and it was a rough one, but we pushed through. Don't let the fear of getting it wrong stop you from jumping in there. And if you're that scared, then sim trade. There is no shame in that at all. If you were here a week or so ago, you would have seen me sim trading live just to get that fear out of my system because my fear was just making me second guess myself. Remember, we're human. We're gonna make mistakes and sometimes the setup is perfect and it still goes against us. Also remember, there's a human on the other side of your loss and your win. Let's review. My first trade, I took the higher low after a channel break looking for a new high. Now there was a small uptrend channel and then prices moved sideways and then it was going up again. So I'm still needing that high for that first uptrend channel and also for this current one. It's just so confusing it really can be so when prices broke and it touched the EMA I tried to wait you know I'm trying to make sure I wait after the break so after it went back into the range and it came it was going I would get a green candle here as long as it was sort of like a pivot candle I felt confident enough that it would break out of that range and give me a new high and this trade worked out. My second trade, I took a first entry long at the trend channel. Now I was thinking that the high at the top of that uptrend channel, that it made two legs back to the other side of the trend channel, which the trend channel can also be your key entry point. But I guess the signal bar wasn't the greatest. I just felt that it touched it. And I guess, you know, when it's a bullish bar like that, it the body itself should be in the upper third of that bar. So I guess since it was more doji, it went against me. I'm still, you know, working that stuff out. But other than that, I don't get why it didn't go because, you know, the EMA is pointing up and the trend channel still needs a new high so i just felt and you know it wasn't a break yet so i felt that sideways movement it really was congestion so usually when there is a doji it could just do all kinds of wrong so and i guess that's what happened here so this one was a loser my third trade, I took a second entry short at the midline. Now, I'm still feeling some type of way about when the midline is strong enough for a entry to really work out. Because, you know, I really had no evidence that the midline was really holding prices. But to me, it just seemed like my my second entry short signal bar was a really good one and it was right there so you know and we're still in this downtrend we had a slight overshoot and eventually it's going to work its way out the other side i did a runner with this one just to see you know how it would work out and maybe i could make up you know some of my losses i'm trying to you know work on that too so but the runner got stopped out but as you can see it did move automatically to break even plus one so the runner you know just gave me one point so it's not you know a total wig out because i'm still not a fan of runners just yet so this one was a win 
Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Welcome new members and shout out also to those who attended the live stream. If you missed it, I've linked the video replay here. Be sure to peck that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Have a great weekend and I'll see you guys on Monday. May the trades always go your way.